Welcome to Silver Bar Keep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson Guitar Bar here in Lovely Lake City, Texas. Today we're going to take a look at Proposition Cocktail Company. This is their Bitter Aperitif. Um, this is uh, the third one of these products and the, the, the third of three that they have uh, currently on the market. Um, I really like what they put out. Um, they come in these nifty little uh, flask sized bottles. They're ready to drink uh, and they truly are ready to drink. And they're very unique. Every one of these I've had has been unlike anything else that I've had. So I saved this one for last to try because it appears to be like a classic um, uh, uh, orange flavored aperitif. Um, you know, and so I, I thought that might be where they're headed with this. Uh, if you take a look, it says it's got hibiscus, blood orange, gentian, uh, grapefruit peel, rosemary, and sage, which is a little bit different than your classic Italian aperitif um, uh, with the orange flavoring in it. Um, and, and, you know, once I really got to thinking about it, I thought, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't expect that. And, and you shouldn't. Uh, this is a very uh, different, uh, although it does have the bitter that you would expect with a bitter aperitif. So let's just take a look at it. First of all, very cloudy. Um, it's kind of got, um, you can see the blood orange in it. It's definitely got the blood orange color in it anyway. Uh, but it's a very opaque, um, kind of a cloudy, um, almost milky, not in a bad way, um, look to it. Um, kind of got this... Um, purple, purplish red color. Um, we smell it, got a very pleasant aroma. And, it, and it's got, you can tell it's gonna have some bitter to it just by smelling it. It's got that, got that aroma to it. Um, it's got, the hibiscus is there. Uh, you can smell that, you can smell the orange because there's a couple different types of oranges in there. Um, and uh, just the citrus peel, but it's not overbearing. It's, it's just got a really nice, really nice aroma. You put your nose in there and smell it. It's really got, got a great, great aroma. When you try it, you're hit immediately by the bitter, but it's not an overbearing bitter, and it eases up really quickly, really dry on the back of the tongue, um, and it's got, and I think that's the um, the orange peel, or the, the grapefruit peel in there, it does have a mild grapefruit uh, flavor to it, uh, but it's definitely got the orange up front, uh, with this, what, what's really odd here, I don't taste hibiscus, you smell it, I didn't taste it. Um, but it does have just a really mild rosemary flavor to it, which I love cooking with rosemary. Um, and I didn't expect that, even though you see it in here, I wasn't sure what to expect, I guess. Not that I didn't expect it, I wasn't sure what to expect. And I wasn't sure how that was gonna blend with the rest of these flavors. And this is what I think really sets this out differently than some of the classic Italian aperitifs is, um, number one, it's got a much more viscous flavor to it. Um, and maybe that's because it's in the ready to drink mode here. So it's not just a uh, an Italian style aperitif. It's it's like a mixed cocktail with with a bitter in it. And and that's really what this is. This is really like a really finely mixed uh, cocktail. Um, I want to try it with a little ice. Again, these are designed to be drunk straight out of the bottle if you like. Uh, it's kind of cool. Um, but but you can also you can use them as a mixer. Although I'm not sure quite frankly, what I would do with this one. Um, and I may, I've got two bottles of it, so I, I may play around with this a little bit. If I come up with something cool, I'll try it later because I really, really like it. I'm giving this, I'm giving this a four and a half um, because it's just, it's just really, really nice. And it's unlike anything else that, that I've had on the market. When you put it on ice, it just, again, it's got that nice bitter right up front, but it's not this overbearing and then the, the, the flavors just build. I really, this is something, again, the, don't let the small size of this bottle offset you. This, this, what I just poured will last me the rest of the evening. This is a true sipping cocktail. Uh, and it's, it's just got, because the flavors build and there's just a lot there for you to taste, which is what I always loved about a nice sipping cocktail, um, and you almost had to have a, a fairly strong cocktail. That's the reason I think I like single malt scotches is because uh, it, it slows you down and kept you from drinking quite so much of it. I don't know what it is about this. I don't know if it's the bitters that you chew up front or that, that slow build of flavor. But I'm not ready for another drink yet. Um, and it's not that I'm not ready because I'm going in and don't, look, don't think I want to finish this thing. I'm really enjoying the flavor of this thing. Uh, I like this. Again, a four and a half. Uh, I, you know... You can buy the variety packs of these. I would because every one of these is fantastic. 
this one, I think, um, this is my favorite. <laughs> Just, I really like this one. Uh, again, Proposition Bitter Aperitif from the Solar Market. A little under 600. 